<laughs> I hope that doesn't do much bad to it. Taking a wild guess and saying that it, it might. It more than likely will. Oh well. <laughs> oh man. Can I adjust this accordingly? Uh, it's noise gain, there's compressor, there's noise suppression. What's the noise gain? I don't know what that means. It's a compressor. Let's add that. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't add that. <laughs> Remove. I don't even know what it does, so why would I add it? <laughs> Magic? Okay, uh, I did not open the live stream, so I do not know what you guys are saying, but I'm pretty sure you're saying stuff. Alright, let's go looky. Let's eyeball. Alright, there we go. Alright, so this is going to be the, the end of this one. I'm going to try to get it done as quick as possible to save you guys the torment of having to sit around and, and watch it. <laughs> Also, uh, I uh, I turned off the noise suppression thing that I had running for the last uh, last stream because uh, uh, I don't know how, but it managed to get into the um, microphone. So when I played it back, it was like choppy. I was like, "Whoa, what happened, bro?" So I have turned that off, and uh, I'm just crossing my fingers that there's nothing in here that's not good for uh, YouTube. I guess. <laughs> That's about that's all we can do. And there's not much else I can do there. <sighs> well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. <laughs> I sped it up a little bit, but I, I just, that's it. Anyway, how you doing there, 1996? It's nice to see you on another one of the streams. It's like you're, you're in all of them. That's good. You might be trying to learn some stuff. I was gonna go over how to do uh, backgrounds, but I think this would be like a really bad example of how to do backgrounds if I was to use this one drawing because it didn't really have too much of the background work in it. Skip it! But if you are interested, um, the thing the thing to get out of doing paint your least type stuff like like this really when you're doing stuff that is painting, you wanna uh, you actually wanna sample all the colors in in the, in the drawing. So pretty much, I would say get all the colors that you wish to have in the drawing in the in the in the in the, in the scene early on. Like once you start, just get all those colors in there. So like, get some of the, get some of the ground color in there. Get some of the, get some of the sky in there, and get some of the object stuff like the grass, whatever color you're interested in, and seeing in the drawing, get it in there, and have some more values than just one value. Don't just put in, don't just put in like, okay, grass is green, and you just drop like one thing of green in there. And then you move on to the sky. Sky's blue. You just like drop one thing of blue in there. Like, you, if you're in Photoshop, you can actually color sample. I mean, if you want it to look as close to the original stuff as possible from the anime itself, you could go ahead. I mean, at some point when you do it long enough, you're not going to need that anymore. You're gonna you can just you know work work off of what you know. And. For the most part, if you already have the colors that you want in in your head already, like you already know what they are, you know, already know that, like you're gonna need like a yellowish green or something, for example. And you don't really need a sample much, unless you're unless you get stuck. If you get stuck on something, I would recommend that you sample colors. I I, I never go against sampling because it's your colors. It's not like it's not like you didn't sample any colors to draw the Pokemon in the first place. If you didn't, then your Pokemon probably look weird. <laughs> or you're working at like a, a weird light. So if you're doing some, if you're doing something that's not 
to look like the anime. Like for example, if you're doing something uh, in a different type of style, like cell shade or something like that, which Pokemon rarely are ever in, unless you're like looking at like the Pokemon movies or something. Then you can do a uh, different color type of colors and stuff. You can do that. Like you can do a different tone altogether. Like for instance, the the characters in the drawing can be a different tone of uh, of their of their color. So this blue, for example, in a different light wouldn't probably look blue. I mean, if you add more yellow in the background, then Lucario will look more green. You know what I mean? And then if you add a uh, orange, and I forget what bad compliments. <laughs> Well, orange has a little yellow in it, so I guess he'd be more on the green side, probably like a little brown color. And then the colors in the background, for example, for like instance, the tree that's already brown would be even more emphasized as brown or start turning more towards the yellow side because it already has yellows in it, so you're just adding on to that. Ah, uh, besides that, how you doing, buddy? Have you, uh, have you tried any of the stuff that I've been talking about? You don't have to, it doesn't really matter. This is not school. <laughs> this is just fun. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, what is that? <laughs> a sninny. I wanted to do a sninny too, but I never got the chance to do a sninny. <laughs> What's a sninny vanish? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll do some clouds. I know, I know, I know. I've done, I've done it too. I'm trying to do uh, live streams on a on my other computer, and I had like issues with that. One lovely sninny. But anyway, how did your uh, how did your sninny go? I mean, uh, ninety. <laughs> I hope you can hear my voice well. Uh, I, 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 I'm trying this time. I'm trying, I'm trying a new thing, okay? I'm trying a new thing where I, I, the, where the, the nuts dropped and uh, I'm, I'm being bold and, um, and brave for once. And I'm straight up just not even manipulating the sound and hoping, hoping that I don't, I don't get flagged for it. So I say, why am I? The Snivy's like in front of the the clouds. Why am I working around the line? Stop it! <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta like, hit, like, you know, knock some sense into yourself and be like, hey, um, why are you doing that, buddy? <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta help yourself sometimes. Sometimes you need it. <sighs> I I know the clouds look a little blurry in this thing, and the reason why they look a little blurry is because uh. They just are. There's nothing I can do about that. So you know, I, I sampled it from another drawing, and I sampled that from another drawing, and I sampled that from another drawing, and it's time to draw new clouds, or at least try to, to redo the clouds and the mountains a little bit. And I can remember yesterday, uh, if you were, if you uh, were sitting in yesterday's live stream, you would see where I actually, uh, where I stated I was going to add more definition in the background area and like in this little area here and the reason why I'm doing that is for balance purposes and let me probably show you a little bit of that the balance of what I'm well the balance that I'm talking about in a little bit maybe not now because I'm doing all this tedious stuff but 
you have to balance the objects in your drawing out in the scene as well, and if you want everything to kind of work together. As soon as stuff, the balance is a little off. Okay, stop doing that. Yeah. I don't like this track too much. I'm afraid. I feel like a good, a really good track would equate to uh, YouTube getting on my tail. Be like, yeah, the music's too good. Must be. <laughs> can, uh, can, you, uh, can you guys actually hear the music? I just want to make sure you can. Because I want it to be super faint. Not that, that, not that it's going to help me get away from anything. <laughs> I just I want it to be as faint as possible so that you can hear my face. And maybe my voice can help me mani manipulate it a little bit. You know, like Because I'm going to be talking a little bit. Thanks guys for the thumbs. You guys are nice. I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. It motivates me to, to draw more and do less other stuff. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yay! How's my microphone though? Is it is it is it really, really bad? Or is it good? Is it good as ever? All right. I don't know if you can see, but I'm spiking the colors like on the on the value scale. It's like ridiculously high. <laughs> spiking it. That's a no-no. And you're when you're when you're working in art, sometimes it's a no-no to spike. To, to spike on the color chart like once you see that little caution sign pop up in photoshop that means you're overdoing it with the color but some people like that some people like overly saturating their colors in the value scale i don't really care i do it a lot when it comes to pokemon stuff so <laughs> yay you yeah, got me some thumbs um there's another lucario thing this for the end of this month sucks because I have I have other art that I need to get done and I know for sure that if I do another Lucario thing for for this month well this is last month's thing so I actually technically didn't do anything for this month but if I do another Lucario thing I'm not gonna get to those stuff and I'm gonna have people that are slightly upset because they like Lucario at the same time they want to see the other stuff that was supposed to get done so <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. Only time will tell what will happen. <laughs> you guys are great. You guys are great. <laughs> You're the reason why I'm actually gonna be sitting here and working on, on this stuff for a lot more time than even today i mean if i even get an opportunity to do it at at the other place i'm not gonna mention <laughs> i think there was one time that i live streamed at work i i mean not um i mean after um after my new uh i remember that was a long time ago That was one time I did it, and it was pretty good. I did uh, I did a, a decent amount of work on that live stream. I don't even, I don't know where I found the time. All right. Well, 
me start with the tutorials over this nice awesome music that's probably going to get me flagged. <laughs> I think I'm going to steal that beautiful cloud right there. Anyways, back to, uh, I don't know who's, I don't know if anyone here is live streaming or anyone here is interested in uh, showing off their art sk skills and, and their practice, but like I was saying earlier, if you want to, uh, do your backgrounds, the first thing you want to do is start off by putting in a, a, very, a various amount of your the colors that you want to see in the background. So don't just put one shade of blue, for example, because you're going to get really, really flat colors. And even if you're working from that one shade of blue, you're still not going to be doing too well. Uh, different... Uh, Well, actually, I'm not going to say that because if you uh, if you start um, doing something where you have like a whole lot of soft shade and you start doing like paint release type stuff, if you're ever interested in doing that or you're already doing that, you will start to see stuff like, for instance, colors do not actually look the way they appear to look. So if you take your eyedropper tool and you go over some parts of something that looks like like blue in a painting, for example, and you think, oh, that's that's really blue. Well, it actually might not be blue when you when you brush that over and the reason why is because there's another color in there That's probably complementing it and You might have done that unconsciously or you guys are probably aware of that I'm gonna show you some more of that stuff in uh, the next live stream, which is not gonna be Pokemon stuff um, Actually, you know, what? I might do another live stream for the, the next Lucario thing because I want to show you guys how I actually sketch it and uh, probably give you some pointers in the sketching process of it as well. Although I don't like doing sketches because sketches kind of imply that you need to have a tablet in order to actually try it out, and a lot of people don't have those, so that's not not always ideal. But I mean, I can do it. I mean, if you guys are interested in seeing that, I can actually explain it. <laughs> what do you guys think? I don't feel I feel like still taking that wonderful background that I threw in that one and just eating it. Let's see if we can get let's see if we can get our paws on that, yeah? I have no idea where that background came from. Is it this one? Mm. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. There's that lovely background. Why does it sound like that? It's so weird. Oh, I don't want that. I just want this part only. Just the rocky section of it. See, I can't use this. I have to do a whole nother background or a whole nother walk formation because that one works for the previous drawing, but it doesn't work for this because the lighting is so much different. You'd probably have to do the same amount of work recrafting this whole bottom section right here as if you were if you uh, sampled that then if you just redrew it over again so I'm just gonna redraw it all right so back to the pointers because <laughs> I keep getting off track a little bit uh, 
in a lot of drawings when you're working on painting you really want to focus on the, wh the where the lighting is coming from that's not the case in Pokemon I don't know if you guys have noticed this before but in Pokemon a lot of times uh, the lighting it doesn't really matter it doesn't even influence the characters and doesn't really influence the background either unless in certain scenes like for instance in a lot of the movies they do focus on the lighting a little better but in the anime the regular anime the, the lighting doesn't matter like for instance you can have light coming from from here in the shadow there like I did there <laughs> and then you can have light coming from in this direction so that's down in the shadow there but then you have this shadow here and what appears to have a shadow going up but then a shadow underneath that as well it makes no sense at all in reality it doesn't make any sense and then of course for the characters themselves there's going to be a shadow underneath um, on average you would have that it's one of the things about Pokemon you can get away with a lot of stuff that you wouldn't on average not be able to get away with with, with a painting for example or some cell shade or any other thing but it's not only Pokemon that you can do that in it's just those guys are the only ones that seem to have gotten that part right but you can do you can do it with pretty much any other art you can actually this can translate into any art you can possibly draw I would say change that but to make a why is it doing that Whatever. I'm not gonna stop it. Let it do its thing. <laughs> so it's not modded. It's just sped up a little bit. So to make a background really, really effective, is you're gonna have to add. Well, you're gonna have to be focused on where the light's coming from, and what from what section you're on in the background, because light could be coming from different places in the background. Uh, but mostly, I would say to make it easy on you, make the light come from the top. That's what I do for most of my backgrounds. I don't know if you noticed that, but there's always a highlight on the very tops of every object inside the background. See, the light right there. Uh, let me see if I, I can illustrate that a little bit better. So the ground, for example, is one of those surfaces that is just mostly light. And then to make an object look like it's protruding from the ground, like maybe a rock or something, then you just draw a line. All right. So this shadow is coming from above. Okay. If you want, you can actually use one of your character's shadows that's closest to that object so see this example right here your character has a shadow right here and it has a shadow right here so then the object that you should draw should also have a shadow going in this direction right here all right so you have your stone you're gonna pick where you're gonna draw your line right there don't let go though keep 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 it pressed down and then start scribbling in that shade that whole section in There. Now it looks like it's uh, something that's sticking up out of the ground. And now it looks like you have like this area back here that's a void. In order to fill that in, take your eyedropper tool, hit the alt button on your keyboard, because that's what I'm doing. I mean, if you want to use your selector in your, on your um, your pen, you can do that. And by the way, I'm sorry, but this is, this is all if you have a tablet. You can do a background with a mouse too. I'm just saying that this stuff's going to take a lot longer doing it with a mouse and probably be harder to do because you have to change your uh, brush size a lot. But anyway, uh, back to it. So I'm going to pick this color right here because that's close to where this is. And I'm going to start adding in a shadow behind it. Sort of to make it look like it's something standing up a little bit. There you go. Now, in order to make this section of the drawing look like it's higher, or I mean lower, than this section, we're going to pick this color, this general color right here, and then we're going to have that come right off of this area right here. So it's going to be like more of a shadow right behind it. 
I'm going to choose this color right here because I want to bring some of this yellow looking color over to this side. I know it's over here already, but I mean, I'm going to try and do that for tutorial purposes. Sorry, I hit the microphone with my pen. There we go. Okay, there we go. And then to add some more texture to that, we're going to select the darkest color and then we're going to do the same step again the same step so that's going to be select the area right here where you want to make it look like it's a little bit darker or raised or elevated ever so slightly and then you're going to choose this color here and then you're going to go in and you're just going to shade it in and then we're going to take some of the yellow or a yellow color whatever color no it's not have to be yellow just a color in the general area of where you're working in order to smooth it out you're going to go back over the very edges of that object that you just made and then take some lighter color and then bring it out on the very edges of that object again and that way it'll look like it's a little bit more raised and everything else and then darken this end and you can click more than one time doesn't matter to make it look like this object right here is behind going behind this object it's really hard for me to explain it okay I don't know what happened but it looks like Windows Media Player just completely killed all my music I'm just I don't know excuse me let me pause that for a second uh, let's go to the enhancements and go to uh, right here and then uh, normal speed because I don't know what in, what happened <laughs> And then I'm going to go back to that previous track, and you can listen to it in its full uh, non-crappy uh, sound. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know what that was. I don't know what that means either, but thank you for your thumbs up. I like it. You're so kind. All right, so I'm going to repeat that step over and over and over and over and over. I'm going to do a little faster because the stream is only two hours and I want to get as much done as possible. I'm just going to get it done. <laughs> I do not want to see this drawing again tomorrow. Actually, well, I'm going to have to see it again because I'm going to add another version, obviously. So it's not going to be completely done. You don't have to try too hard, that's what I'm saying, and when it comes to backgrounds. Like, I'm not even using a uh, simple uh, um, round circle. I'm using a um, regular simple circle. In SAI, it's a simple circle. Photoshop, it's, uh, I don't know. I guess you could consider it a simple circle as well. I don't think it has a name to it. Maybe it does. Let me look. I will see it. Nope. It's uh, it just says 13, and it's not faded. I wish we can explain this better, but it's like you're mixing colors. You don't, you don't pick one color. That's the thing. When you look at an object, you think it's really one color. Like you see a blue object and you think, hey, that's just blue. But if you really, really look at it, there's more than one color in there, and more than likely there's purple in it. Because usually, when you see something that's blue, there's usually something red nearby. You see some red, some violets, and and then blue especially in the shadow areas 
I wish I could. I actually can show you guys. It's like it's, it's interesting if you think about it, if you see it. So yeah, next time you're working on it, think about that stuff. That if you want something to look brown, don't just use brown as the color because if you do, it probably will look weird. And you also want to incorporate some parts of your character inside of the background when it comes to color. I'm not talking about like whatever you thought it was. <laughs> Yee, how you doing, buddy? So, what I what I mean by incorporate some of your character into the background, I mean the colors of your character you want to incorporate into the background. So that is the blue, for example, of uh, Lucario. You can see that. I mean, it's already in the in the background, so I really don't have to do too much. But that's one of the things that tie the, the characters to the, to the background. So, I like Lucario's color. I'll take a little bit of that blue and then throw it right into the darkest area of this background right here. And then right with blue, we select like that. And then we put it like right here above the cloud line. Now it's going to be here eventually because it's not here yet. That's not the only place you can put those colors in, but I'm gonna leave them there for now because I want to get a little bit more of that um, detail into the, the tree line, which is a little far out. Kidding. I think that's like the one we're in there. If we merge that down, that's fine. Welcome to my stream, buddy. I mean, you're a cat. I mean, are cats allowed? Don't forget. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, Mr. Cat. Or Mrs. Cat. I don't know what your thumb is. I don't like to. <laughs> I don't like to uh, make that stuff up. I mean, whatever it is, it is. Doing clouds in Pokemon is pretty pretty easy. For the most part, it's just you take your brush tool and you uh, outline gray objects. So you draw in the gray first, like this. See how I draw the gray in? And then you take the brush and you draw around that, just pretty much outlining it. And giving this nice little upside down use. You don't have to use a faded brush. On the previous one, I used the uh, I used the regular simple circle. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, I'm gonna do a, the next stream. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a live stream on that, a little tutorial on that, and it'll have some information as to like what I just mentioned just uh, a couple minutes ago, but it's gonna be more in depth on that. So, 
Just keep an eye out, my friend. I'll have that stream for ya. Um, I think, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna color something. It's not gonna be the. It's gonna be. So I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick something that I know is supposed to be colored in that style, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Yeah, keep an eye out for it. I'll make a live stream for that stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna actually try to get that done in a day too. That's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna just get like one entire day. So it'd be like a maybe like a 18 hour stream or something. I don't know. I don't know how what YouTube allows for uh, live streams. Do you do you know? I don't really know. I just know that that stream is gonna be really long. It's gonna take a while to get that done, but. Um, I think it's a single character, right? So it should be fairly, fairly simple. I think I'll, I'll do the, um, what, do you, what drawing from my previous uploads do you think I should, uh, you think I should do that with? What do you think? Have you seen my previous stuff on Ink Bunny? What, what from my previous stuff do you think should definitely be, uh, drawn in that style and... And, and posted for the tutorial. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna come up. All right. And since it's on YouTube, it'll be saved, so you guys can go back and look over and try to figure out what I did and. And hopefully those steps that I would give will help you guys a lot. Well, hopefully some of the steps I've given is kind of helpful to somebody. I don't know. Red. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I do. I'm just using this, look. It's just that brush, and that's it. I'm not using any special layers. Uh, I lowered the opacity to 26, and that's that's about it. Um, so it'll be very simple for you to catch on, because all you have to do is the same exact steps that I'm going to provide you. Not today, because I this background would be a really, really poor example of what I, what I would recommend. And... That's because this background is really meant to look like Pokemon. Or in that style. A little bit. But, and for the, for the realistic stuff, like the stuff you really want to see, um, there's a couple more steps there that um, I can't show you here because I don't want to mess with this background too much. knew I was listening to. <laughs> I'm not even using my uh, broadcaster, the little stream um, capture card, uh, inter internal capture card that I was using last time. This is like direct off of the audio card. Yep, six o'clock ready. Good news is it's almost done, so yay! <laughs> Oh, it only say, it saves the first 12 hours. Okay, cool, awesome, 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 awesome. So in that case, I can do a whole 12 hours worth of streaming 
and uh, I think it'd be about 12 hours. I think it'd be about 12 hours. It has to be something, something quick. Let me see. Um, I don't even know what Pokemon that is, but let me look. Uh, let me look. Let me look at that. Remember how I said I have time constraints? You're having me Google stuff. That's not cool. Oh. No, no one's ever asked me to draw that. That I remember, of course. Let me see. Uh, let me see this one. No, no one's definitely that second one. No one's ever asked me to draw that. Um, that, but the first one, I, maybe, maybe I don't remember drawing it though. much I love art I, just, I, I love it so much it's like it's ridiculous it's hard to, hard for me to tell you if I had to take the chance I don't know how but if I had the chance to do art all the time like for just I don't know I'd be doing it so much dude I have no idea like it's not just for doing it but it's also for like learning new things when it comes to art and then then using it like applying it it's like really good I think that's like the best feeling when you draw something and you know you you, you learned this brand new skill and you, you finally like drew it and actually put it out in paper and people are looking at it and like wow that's really cool how'd you do that and you're like I don't even know myself <laughs> I just learned it guys uh decide on what art you think i should draw for this paint really thing i mean color paint for the paint really thing you can go through my gallery and just eyeball see what you can find there that should be drawn i mean colored jeez why are you hitting drawn it's drawing my brain I must be tired see what that looks like at a distance I'm sure it looks okay it's not yeah it's it's okay it's not it's not like the best thing in fact I think I feel like if I took that hill down just like maybe a lint like an inch or something it look a little better and I can also add some rock formations there and kind of like cut down on the, um, the grass just a little bit 
I feel like the grass in that spot's a little bit too much. But also, you know what? I think around Lucario's foot, I'm gonna make it just like like stones. I wanna make it look like the ground is interacting with the character a little bit. You know? I wanna have that in there. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do rock right here. here and then another one right there and do a little dark behind that let's dark that out let's do another one right hey, not there but like I want to have it angled out a little bit more better and then on this side I'm gonna have it kind of crack out towards uh, uh, something like this that's what I want to do <laughs> too many stones there that's okay it's okay it's like it's okay Unless <laughs> he's saying it's okay, like, wait, I want to convince myself that it's okay. Okay? It's okay. Yes, yeah, so I outline my rocks. I don't do it in my other stuff, but I do it in this. And the reason why I outline it is because Pokemon has cell shade, and you don't really want to have your background stand out too much. Like if it, if it was completely painterly all around, it'd look like the background doesn't belong to the drawing, or it look like a really fancy drawing. I mean, you just gotta cell shade a little bit on the art, on the characters and figures, and you'll be fine. Yeah, let's see how that works. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it looks a little better. <laughs> oh, it does. Wait, what's your resolution at, dude? <laughs> and I'm glad it's working for you. I'd love to see a live stream or something. <laughs> now, are you talking about? Are you talking about the? Um, are you talking about the cell shading stuff? Or are you talking about what, what are you, the painting? I mean, uh, the um, pen tool. What are you, what are you using? Or the line tool. I think our buddy King has been like <laughs> out of it a little bit there. No, no jokes. Actually, no. I feel like I drew that Pokemon, dude. I don't know why. I, did, I feel like I did. Try. Right. I had to pick the, the most crunchiest snack ever. <laughs> So 
so good though. Oh man. I'm actually glad that my, well, whatever, I hope, it, I mean, I'm glad uh, I'm hopefully helping someone. I don't know if I'm actually helping them or not. <laughs> Uh oh, yeah, really big monitor. So do I. But um, the trick to resolving that issue is, oh, 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 are you you're, are you using a tablet or are you using um, are you using uh your mouse? Before I give bad advice, I want to give bad advice. If you're using a tablet, then you can uh, you actually can do something about that. On there. Oh, okay. Then that is a Wacom or what type of tablet do you have? Actually, you know, I really think it, it doesn't even matter if you do have a Wacom or not. If you go to your, um, I think, I believe, if you go to your, your um, oh. Yeah. I see. I don't know about those type. I don't know about those type uh, tablets. Uh, if they have uh, tablet preferences, because you can actually go to screen map and map your screen like where you want the tablet to work on, so you don't have to worry about it being so ridiculously big. Um, however, I do have another solution for you. It is a little bit, a little bit costly though, or it doesn't have to be. If you are able to, uh, are you using a, if you're using a laptop, then maybe it's not an option, but you might want to look into getting another screen, like a smaller screen, and just designating that as your primary monitor when you're working on art. 
because it'll make your it'll make it a little easier for you. Like the the mod, the tablet that I'm using right now has a smaller screen on it than my main monitor, which is good because if I was drawing on the main monitor, it'd be kind of difficult. It's too big. However, um, I would like to say that if you are drawing in general, you don't have to worry about that. If you're an inking stuff, you don't have to worry about it because that's that method that I showed in the previous video should work no matter what. Even if you're having issues with your tablet, you can still uh, you can still try and draw those lines out using that method. You shouldn't have a problem. Or you shouldn't have a problem for a long time. Eventually the problem will go away. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But yeah, if you uh, if you uh, if you do know how to live stream and you're capable of doing it, then I'm glad to watch and give some few pointers here and there doing that live stream. Yeah. I know what track that is. It took me a second. I was like, whoa, what is that? Don't boast. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you are good at drawing. Stop it. I'm sure you're good. Never say that about yourself, buddy. I'm sure you're good. You're as good as anybody. You know, I tell people who are trying to draw and who thinks they're they're not as good as they think they are. All it takes is time, my friend. That's all it is. You just haven't learned the skill yet, but you have it. You have it just as much as anyone. Keep that in mind. If someone else did it, you can do it too. You're just as capable as anyone else. As long as you have two paws. Make sure you have two paws first though. And don't forget to give me your thumbs. <laughs> I'll take those, you don't need those. a time when I said I can draw and then there was a time where I was like uh, I can draw and uh, my art is just great when my art was so bad I couldn't even see it anymore I couldn't I was I was I was hell-bent on thinking that my art was good at where I was where I was at at the time and good group of people got me out of that mindset which was good um, it's not like they showed me what I needed to do to improve I kind of had to work on that myself but everything that you see around you is is, uh, is a part of your uh, is, is help is help even other art is help you know what I mean and in live streams I feel really are helpful I didn't do too many of them. I didn't watch too many of them back in the day because I was trying to do them myself. And, but I'm pretty sure if I watched more live streams on other artists who were already achieving the great things that they were achieving at the time, I probably would be a little better than I am right now. Maybe. That's okay. Everyone's learning. We're all learning here.
probably a little orange. I want to make that just smoother. More pointers. I need to know. <laughs> it's not true. Don't watch random videos. Focus on videos that will help you improve. Jeez, don't do random stuff. I mean, if you watch random videos, I mean, you're gonna f find random stuff. Maybe not the art that you're looking for. I mean, make sure it's like based upon art stuff. You know what I mean? And follow the artists that motivate you, you know what I mean? I'm not saying me, don't follow me if you don't well, really want to, I mean, don't do that. But I mean, follow artists that motivate you, like that, that have the style that you're looking for or something of that nature. You know what I mean, because those guys, their skills will improve your skills, for that matter. Especially if you watch them in the live stream. Not saying that what I'm doing in my live stream is gonna help you. <laughs> but if you see something you're like, oh well, I've always been wanting to try to do that, and then you see how another person does it, and you can do it. I guess that's the way learning works. You know what I mean? No one's born knowing how to use Photoshop right off the bat. I wish I was. That'd be great. <laughs> you have to learn that stuff from someone or somewhere, somehow. So, you could be another great artist just, just in there. Just have to. Just gotta learn how to get that skill out there. Yes. I, I guess that's a good way of putting it. Almost there. Almost. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. I want to keep it random. You know what I mean? I think it's always good to keep it random and not be methodic about it. Not don't come in, don't come in the thing with a game plan because life's not about having a game plan. You know what I mean? You don't want to plan out every part of your life because you're not gonna enjoy it. Then you already know it's gonna happen. But yeah, same thing. Same thing goes with art. You, you don't want to plan every single part of it. You want to be like, yeah, this is what's going to be in here. For sure. I mean, when you see me throw a background in when I'm sketching, that is just to fill that space so it's not a giant empty void of, uh, you know, nothingness. Because you don't want to have that giant empty void of empty, you know, nothingness in your sketch. It makes the sketch a little less interesting. Unless, uh, I don't know. There's a reason for that. No idea why you want to do that, but anyway, you don't want to have that emptiness in there. You want to have something in that, filling that space, making that space look interesting. But as you can tell, for the most part, I don't follow that rule when I come to uh, finishing the drawing. The background sometimes doesn't even play any part at all. 
I think it does. Ooh. I think I should stretch that a little bit. I like the way that looked like in the previous sketch. Let's push it like into this little whatever you call this giant thingy. So what are you guys drawing? I, I want to see, jeez, you guys are hiding all your art stuff from me. This artist like to eyeball other artists at work. You like sitting around drawing stuff, you're like, hey, what are you up to, buddy? <laughs> it's me, dude. I like that better. Open that up a little bit more. Anyone, I'm guessing some people are probably trying that uh, concept of uh, not using the colors that they uh, they believe to be in the drawing, and then using colors that are actually in the drawing. That's kind of the con that's actually pretty much it. So actual colors actually consist of more than one color, and then. When you combine them all, your eye sees one singular color for the most part. I guess the most desirable color is what you see. Um, which is the way it kind of works. But it's also the way you should draw it. It makes it really, really interesting because um, your eyes are pleased by multiple colors. Your brain likes to be stimulated. You know what I mean? It doesn't like to just be sitting there not doing anything at all. So if you give it no work to do by throwing the color out there, your brain's not going to be stimulated at all. It's going to sit there and see that one single color and be like, oh, well, there it is. You know what I mean? However, what is that? What is that? Why is that? Better question. Let me look at that up close. Oh, why do I have that line? Oh, it looks like I took a. It looks like I took a hit. Let me look and see where, where it went. Where I went wrong. Yeah, I took a hit. I don't know what had happened, but it took a hit. This is what happens when you uh, you click too many times. Not an easy fix. 
thought it was going to be an easy fix, but I was wrong. It is not. Yeah, I think it happened when I, I did the um, shading for the uh, top layer. I don't know how that would happen, though. That's weird. I wasn't paying attention or something. But I wouldn't catch ya. You were wrong, buddy. Found you. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> I didn't catch all of it. That's fine. That's okay. I can handle this. I think an easier approach to fixing this would be uh, instead of doing all that craziness right there that I just did, which is a lot by the way, uh, I would just go ahead and um, use the eraser tool on just the outside of where the lines are screwed up, where the, sh or where the shade is screwed up, like fill, the fill is screwed. I think it's really hard for me to do that too. Get rid of those choppy lines. There we go, I think that takes care of it. Oh, oh, oh god, that's like a stretch. Oh, oh. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an arrow. Um pointing towards the character. I know these lines are going back up. I don't like it too much. Uh, I don't want to overly simplify it, but I also don't want to. I don't want to make it look that way. So I'm going to instead let me lock both of these layers because it seems like I make the same mistake every single time when I accidentally draw onto the layer that I don't don't plan on drawing onto. That explains why that tree was in the way. <laughs> it's like, why is that? What's the? What's that empty space right there? Oh, it's just a knife. I feel that. And, uh, oh, dude, I'm getting tired. That's weird. Use. Let me check these thumbs. Oh, yay. Why is my drawing smoking? Oh, you don't like the clouds? Aw. Well, let's see that work you're working on. I'm sure you can link it. I want to eyeball it, dude. I want to see uh, how you're applying the skill to your... Uh... Mm. You know what else tastes really good? Mm. Why do you call these combos? That's weird. <laughs> I like combos. I think this is the first time I ever bought combos. Like I've had them, I've had them. People like share them all the time. I'm like, oh, they're tasty. But I never really like went out and got myself some combos. They're so good. They're so good. All right, I guess now it's time for me to uh, talk about today's sponsor. I'm just kidding. There's no sponsors. <laughs> You guys! Today's sponsor is Ink Bunny, where you can post as much art as you'd like, except for humans. Humans are not allowed. Don't ever go there and post humans.
<laughs> Ugh, so itchy. Working on your smoke clouds, my friend. Are you enjoying it? Oh, it was loud. Oh man, oh, it was so crunchy, dude. You got. You have to stop by your closest uh, convenience store and pick yourself one of these up. It's so good. It's just amazing. I need sponsorship money. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> It's like no, I just I, I accidentally got them yesterday and uh, they're pretty good. I don't know, but yeah, I, I don't actually want to eat my extremely crunchy snack in my live stream. That's not cool. Like guys, I would like to give you a tutorial on how to crunch before you draw. Here's the first step: <laughs> crunch. <laughs> Is it? He's only he's only listening to the live stream. He's not watching it while driving, right? Or, okay, never mind. I don't care. Now, please, what? Please, please, for the love of goat cheese, uh, watch my stream while you drive. I I want that. That is that is some that's a true accomplishment. I need a trophy for that. Like, how do you know when? When you've got some loyal fans, I don't know, when they watch while driving, that sounds like some loyalty right there, my friend. <laughs> it's like, it's not my fault. I was, I was watching Chicks Done just driving my car. It's okay. I have to tell you something. It's okay to drive and watch my streams. It's not against the rules. <laughs> you can do it. Mm, that sounds good. Is it cold hickory steak or is it like, like warm hickory steak? Uh, I feel like there's a substantial difference between cold and warm. Isn't it? You'd rather have the, the warm stuff. Get rid of that cloud. That's just so bad. Go away. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to pull him out. It was a really hard time. <laughs> but why does he have a knife, though? More questions and answers, right? All right, I'm gonna steal the cloud from this drawing because I don't really have time. I like have I have no time, so I'm stealing. I'm stealing from my own art. It's funny. Can I have this cloud and this cloud and all these clouds right here? Can I have all that? Can I have all this goodness? Oh yeah. All right. I'm telling you when I stole this for my own art, okay? <laughs> yeah! Actually, I don't like the swirl too much because it doesn't fit in with this one. But it, it's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Horizontal it. I'm actually going to make it smaller. Who's that in front of? It's in front of Mr. Sniper. Yeah, I'm gonna make that smaller. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna make it smaller. <laughs> I keep saying it over and over again. Like, oh, the more times I say it, the more it's gonna happen. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. All right, let's see. How can I fix this? If you saw the previous drawing, this is technically supposed to be like the other scene in that because 
It's a, it's like a, a three or four part series, but uh, unfortunately it never really got done. But that's the reason why I'm kind of ke keeping the consistent background going and all that stuff. Plus I'm lazy, so um, there's my excuse. Gotta have an excuse somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where this guy's going with it, but uh, okay. I have 11 thumbs. Did you know that? It's the weirdest thing. <clears throat> I'm one of these uh, thumb collectors. <laughs> People just give me their thumbs. Right? Like, they just give them away. Like, I don't understand that. Weirdest thing. True story. Don't get back down there, bud. Let me fight ya. Fuck it. I mean, uh, screw it. YouTube, don't don't moderate. <laughs> You're like, and your 18 hours of live streaming. Uh, you said the F word uh, maybe about four times? No, nope. uh, was I said fork. I said fork it. Guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I have a slew of mental issues. Okay, I just want to let you know that ahead of time. And um, if you live around Maryland or Washington, D.C., by any chance, uh, we can go out on that date that we were talking about earlier. Remember that one? The one we never talked about? Yeah, it's, it's a, in our good Christian live stream. Don't say that. Don't even say forks, okay? Because, you know, those, those utensils can sometimes be mistaken for lewd activity. Okay, I want to get these clouds to look like those clouds. No, do I want those clouds to look like the? I don't know. You know, you know, balls. Yeah, you know, let's make these clouds look like they look good. Oh yeah, I can really smell the clouds from here. It's like, <sighs> wait, what the fuck? I mean, hell, this uh, cloud smell like, jeez.
<laughs> it's like, yeah, let's not use one swear. Let's use the other swear. It's all all good. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure tornado sounds like torn limbs and, and asbestos and uh, other stuff that is ripped apart during tornadoes. I'm gonna actually steal this top part here. I like you guys. You guys give me all these thumbs. I should swear more. Even though it's not allowed, I'll do it. Okay, I'm lazy, okay? That's why I'm using all the same clouds over and over again. I just, I'm doing it, okay? That's how you do it. And if you ever draw yourself a background and you have some good clouds, freaking duplicate it as many times as possible. Just do it. Don't, don't stop yourself from using stuff that you made. If you did it, it's yours. Just do it again. Oops. <laughs> I was like, that only works one time, and then after that, you don't do it again. <laughs> Not. All right, there we go. I got that thing done. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna smooth it out with the, just like this solid dark blue. That we have going on like right in the middle just gonna brush through with a little solid dark blue and it's currently 652 here in uh hydesville maryland if you're interested in where i'm duplicating du du dupling it currently that time i need you guys' help man i'm trying to get out of this rut all right trying to trying to get into a a better situation, you know what I mean? And all you have to do, and this is the weirdest thing ever, is just give me your thumbs. All your, all the thumbs you can possibly give. I'll take them. Weird request, right? it now someone's sawing our thumb right off and like what's your address again <laughs> like, stop not literally I don't want that we had a little bit of miscommunication there <laughs> I don't know what paws are what are you talking about are you talking about like like feet you know, I don't know that's creepy alright let's color in the snivy that's been sitting here quietly waiting his turn to get colored Sit at the nub. 
and you'll get my paws. I mean, my thumb. Sorry, good sir. Nubs are not allowed on YouTube. Not allowed to see nubs. It's something very weird about this tree. Not in a good way, too. Bad, bad way. Bad tree. Alright, let's do, uh, we're gonna do uh, just a little bit of that orangey looking color, whatever that is, and then. What claws? <laughs> you guys are a little broad with your request. Oh yeah, I was gonna I was gonna push this down a little bit. <laughs> uh snap oh man okay let's say that is number two let's say that's number two something happened while we were working nobody told me about it but somehow this layer popped up and got merged down Copy two. So I'm not sure how much we lost here. If we lost a lot, we probably lost a ton because I think there was like rock formations. There was col there was like some color stuff that was underneath that, and it's all probably gone now. Let's see, can't undo it. Nope. I don't know where this layer came from right here. This right, this this whole layer right here doesn't belong right there. And it can't be removed. 
Okay, well, let's go ahead and see what we got. Probably got nothing. We're probably fucked. I mean, I screwed, screwed. Yeah, we're screwed. Jeez. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Mm. Yeah, we are screwed. So all that work that was done in the middle there, no longer there. You gotta do a lot of that over again. Oh well. You win some, you screwed some. <laughs> oh man. And I know I can't step back to find out like what point it got merged down. Um, it was brought in, I think it was brought in with that background um, that I decided to add. And um, that was a wrap. Because when I brought that in, uh, I don't know. I can, let me step back, see how much, how far I can go. Yeah, that was brought in with the clouds. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. All right. You gotta, you gotta learn from your mistakes. Sometimes there's no, there's no solutions. You know, even to hell with this right here part because I don't even think I'm gonna use that. All right, I'm getting lemons. I gotta make some lemonade. I don't even know what this is. This this whole thing doesn't belong here. It came in and it just erased like half of, uh, of some of the work I was doing. So I don't even know where, I, where, to, <laughs> where to leave off. Um, all right, let's just, let's make lemonade. with this. I don't even know what this is. Yeah, that'll happen too, by the way. <laughs> that will happen, so you guys just be aware, like, sometimes you will make mistakes, like the one I just made just now, and uh, you're gonna have to either work around it or just sit around and be real sour about it, but you know, I'm not like that. I'm not sour about it. I'm just going to get to it. There's nothing else you can do but either do it over or you're going to sit there and stare at it. I'll tell you a little secret, though. If you do have a really good computer like I do, but I'm still I'm not doing it, um, you can. what you can do is extend the amount of back spaces that you can do. So the amount of times you can click backwards and go back in time and and change things. So if you want to go back to the time before you merged all that down, you'd have to actually set that up before you actually make the mistake. Which is dumb. It's kind of like uh, insurance. If you didn't have it before you made the mistake, you're screwed. The only problem with it, and the reason why I see you have to have a really high powered computer is because uh, Photoshop starts lagging maybe like 500 times, after it saves about 500 of those uh, backspaces. So if you're working on something really big, uh, it won't really work very well. See all this grass was in here, this was brought in on that, that layer, that background layer. This wasn't here. All this was brought in on that. And, um, I don't even know what was behind it. But, yeah, it's not supposed to be here. Let's 
okay. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna cover it up and move on from that. You gotta learn from your mistakes. You can actually uh, you can actually benefit from some mistakes too, but I don't think in this case we're benefiting jack squat from this. This is a real screw up right here on my part that I didn't look down here to see what was going on the whole time. And then I finally look down and I see that there's like a whole layer of, of nothing underneath that I didn't need. Like this all is not needed. <laughs> yeah, I've I've set it to I've set mine to, to I've actually set mine to a thousand before on Photoshop, and let's just say maybe around six hundred steps, and it got real glitchy. Not on this computer. I've never done it on on my good computers. I did it on my laptop. That was a bad idea. <laughs> and you can start to see it start to act up on you. You're like, oh boy, it's not good. So yeah, your choices are when you when you start getting that, your choices are: do you go in and uh, and just reset it back to like 500 or 300 or whatever, or you just uh, because you, you realize when you do do that. You're, you're sacrificing all those layers that just got saved or moves or methods or whatever steps that you uh, saved. I guess if you're if you're near the end of your drawing you don't really have to worry about that because you're not gonna make like a giant mistake that's gonna screw everything up. But then hey look I'm near the end of this drawing and I just made a huge mistake that's costing me a huge deal of time. I was supposed to be near done and now I'm not. So, I don't know. It's a real gamble. Just like any type of insurance, it's a real gamble. It's not free. That just, that looks confusing. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The mistake has been made. I'm gonna live live a bit. Just go move on from this. I feel like a lot of this was in here. I feel like it just came in with that that background layer. You know, just pesky. It doesn't want to go away. I mean, with that mistake, I actually might not be able to get this uh, done today. Oh well. I mean, stuff happens, dude. And I think I feel like stuff happens for a reason too. But I just. I don't get it done today I'm not gonna do another live stream here as a matter of fact um, this is going to be the last live stream for this one drawing so this one today it's gonna be the end of it so you won't see this one again here so today's the final day for this one yay it's a good thing What is this? It's like I added like a whole nother side, like a whole nother thing to the drawing that doesn't even need to exist. <laughs> what is that? I <laughs> just made a cube.
<laughs> Let's uh, I guess merge these together, make it all one piece of, of uh, stone. Dark and underneath there. My apologies for those guys who were sitting down looking at it and anybody who was enjoying it the way it looked before. I'm sorry. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I can't go back. I mean, once once that happens, that's it. You can't do anything, but you can. I mean, you can do something. You can you can work what you work with what you have now, or you can cry about it. I guess that's it. That's all we can do. I can't fight it. That's it. The reason why is because I can't see what's behind it. I don't know what originally was there. If I knew what was there, I could probably try to replicate what was there, but now I can't see it. Because this thing just popped up in front of everything. Alright, I think that's okay. Let's get some of that dark in there. You know it's funny? I can actually go back in time, like <laughs> on on YouTube because it's recorded. I can actually go back and see exactly the time it happened and just like <laughs> and then just like scream at myself because there's nothing I can do like it's happened I would see it happen like see it happening and I would be able to do anything I'll just stare at it I think that would be traumatizing I'd rather not do that to myself just go on and be like dude look at that <laughs> yeah I don't want to do that it's okay I'll leave it alone Oh yes, here's a really, really good piece of advice for you guys before I, I roll out and call it a night. I mean, I have to go to work. But, uh, when you're working on anything at all, especially when it comes to painterly type stuff or any type of drawing, really, I think it works for anything, really. Um, let's see. Try not to stick in the, into one little, little area. Try not to try to finish one little area and then move on because it's one single drawing that you're working on. It's not multiple drawings that are gonna be combined into one single drawing. And you have to keep that in mind when you're working. So even if you're working on one small part of the drawing, for example, like you have this one thing that you have to finish before the drawing is complete enough to be presentable, right? Always try to work on something else inside of drawing as well. And if you have the chance, try to incorporate some parts of that other thing that you're working on in, in into that part that you're working on as well. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but pretty much saying that if you're stuck on something, no matter what, don't stay in don't don't stay working on one little part of the drawing all the time. Like, I was working on the ground, okay? You saw me doing that. But then, I went and I left that area completely and I went and started working on the sky. Which has nothing to do with the ground at all. <laughs> but it keeps you, it keeps you, um, it keeps your mind, like, like, fresh, like, open. Like, 
you don't get too distracted you don't have to get too carried away with the background or carried carried away with that one single part of the drawing it keeps you I don't know and I guess it breaks your focus away from that so that when you when you come back to it you might actually see like something that else something else that needs to be done to it you can actually see the next step and I guess you'd be more like refreshed like kind of taking a break away from it but you're not taking a break away from your art you're taking just a break from that section of your art you should try it sometime because a lot of times when you get stuck it's a really really good idea if you get stuck on one part of the drawing like oh man I really really can't get the face right right now just work on something else work on another face if you have two characters or work on the I don't know the body or something if you have you know if you have the body drawn already if you don't have it go ahead and draw it yeah it's not you get done today <laughs> I can already tell here's why Stivy has no face do you realize that doesn't matter they're both the same character right you guys won't know it's not like I'm saying it loud and clear right now oh that looks different holy okay whatever <laughs> like ooh. What's that? You didn't say this one's going to have expletives? <laughs> oh, man. The thing is, YouTube does not have a blur option. I don't think it does, at least. So, all I can do is keep it like that. And then, if YouTube would allow you to take your video out of YouTube and then edit it and then put it back in, It'd be so good. It'd be like Ink Bunny. You know how Ink Bunny is, where you can, uh, if you find like you have a big ass, I mean, a huge mistake on your artwork, <laughs> you can take it out of there and you can actually, uh, you can actually fix it and then put it back in. Mm, well, what is that? Sounds good, but no. They're not going to see it because I'm going to delete the video. 
I'm not keeping it on here. I'm going to download it and I'm going to delete it and then I'm going to re-upload it for it not to get to enough uh, anything, but that's what I'm going to do. So it's actually not going to be here. But that's okay. It's still good. <laughs> I'm so hard pressed on that, dude. This is just a background stream. Doesn't matter to me, man. Besides, I don't know if you realize, but I think there's been like just a few too many swears in this live stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, I'm trying to catch myself in these swears, and I can't. I can't do it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a grown up. It's not preschool. for the thumbs though anyway I love the thumbs yes yeah, so I know Snivy's colors are a little weird okay a little wonkers <clears throat> it's okay his colors can be like that Snivy's allowed to do that only him though Yeah, I'm about to cheat on this too. It's not that I enjoy cheating on it, but I really do feel like there's a need to just leave the um What is that? Oh, is it supposed to be the tree? I don't know. Be honest with you, I have no idea what's going on right there. <clears throat> I'm thinking this is all tree, right? But I, I could be wrong. I could do something else. What the hell? What? What else could it be? You know what I mean? I drew it. It should be all tree, right? What, what am I doing with the eraser tool? Absolutely nothing. Whoa, that's a history brush tool. I'm pretty sure. It's funny. I was like, what am I doing with the eraser tool? And then I grab the eraser and use it anyway, like a, like a complete uh, smart person. <laughs> the 
smart person I am. Oh, that's wrong. That is beyond wrong. No, for real, that's just not right. Let's take away that. honest with you though I have no idea what this is what is that line supposed to be is it supposed to be like a giant piece of the tree no idea right I think it's snivy but it could be also something else I'll just make it brown for now and I'll figure it out later <laughs> Where's the colors at? Whatever. Let's use the yellow. Let's get his colors in there and be done. Can't get that 100%, please. I'd like it to be 100%, at least. Or that sounds right yellow anyway. I need to stop doing that every time.
Oh, no. That's not the same layer. Oops. Yeah, the ground's still a little iffy. Remember that issue I had with the ground earlier because I did something dumb, smart, I mean, genius, of course? Um, well, it's still a problem, so. Well. Whoa. Double strike? Looks incomplete. Almost like it's just there. <clears throat> it looks exactly like what it is. Like curls around. <laughs> it don't look right though. Uh, let me see. Uh, maybe if I can get some of that yellow in there, and then we just we could get rid of a lot of this whole texturing that's going on here. Just get rid of it. <sighs> Nope. <laughs> Maybe not. I'll try something else. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out now. Uh, I'll figure it out. Alright. That settles it. I'll leave it alone for now. Uh, I feel like this whole area right here needs to just be dark. Just... Take a big brush, 10% opacity. Just go in there and just darken the whole thing. Really? You're blurring? Your motion, you're blurring it? Really? It's not that dark. Yeah. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Like that whole thing that came up at the last second is what really got me at the bottom here. That's what really got me. So. It's not much you can do about that. When you make a mistake, you just gotta live. You gotta. <laughs> gotta live with it, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna lose all your guys' thumbs. That really sucks. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get losing thumbs. It's really nice to get the thumbs though. The thumbs are really nice. I'll do. I'll do thumbs. However, uh, you guys can subscribe. I don't think if if I delete this video, which I will, uh, that you're uh. Subscriptions will vanish, right? No, of course not. So subscribe to this channel so you can get to see more stuff, more mistakes.
Friends is the alarm. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. All right, save it. That's game, people. Game over. See you on the next one.